hi guys welcome back to my channel it is really super late and i felt compelled to fix my fro on camera fix my fro on camera fro 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 fro, fro. anyways you guys that's my fro song today i was hanging out with some of my actor friends because i was having a minute and I decided to, instead of internalize everything, I'm going to utilize my YouTube channel. And I'm just going to talk, and maybe somebody out there has a solution, or they're going to do the same thing, and we can help each other out. This is where I'm at. So I just had a birthday, and I, I just feel like I'm going to die trying to achieve this dream of becoming an actor. Everything I did last week, I, I had three auditions and they all fucking fell through. I mean, they usually do, but uh, it's so frustrating. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's really frustrating and it's one of those things where I'm not gonna stop. This is just part of the process. But I just, I feel like I've, I've reinvented myself several times and it's just, I don't know what else to do. Um, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing because oftentimes in the past I feel like I would, and I do this with relationships, and the first second I feel something's different, not different, but wrong, I, I, like, I back out, I quit. Um, I don't quit, I move on, I go somewhere else. And what I mean by that is, I don't want to get stuck in a situation that I can't get out of. I'm totally a Gemini. And if there's something else that's like brighter or shinier, then I'm totally going to go towards that. I don't know. I just have this huge fear of getting stuck in situations that I can't get out of. Because oftentimes I always try to give people the benefit of the doubt. And... With my career, it's like I can't give people the benefit of the doubt because that means for me, I'm waiting another two or three years to have somebody finally be like, oh, you know what? I think you can play black girl number four. You're black. I am in acting classes. I have to reshoot my headshots, but I'm trying so hard. I'm trying and it's just like, I feel like everything that I'm trying to do is in vain or it's like everything I try to do it's always like one step late or so I'm not around the right people you know or I'm overlooked because of my headshots say what is that what is that oh just a gray hair it's cool it's totally cool and that's another thing you guys I I'm not super old but in Hollywood standards I am geriatric and the only thing I have going for me is my youthful my youthful glow. I don't doubt myself whatsoever and I don't doubt my abilities. Everyone loves to tell you that you're great and everyone loves to tell you that they're gonna put you in this. I have a friend, he's a writer, he could just write you apart. That shit never happens to me. Um, people tell me that shit all the time. Like, oh my god, I'm totally gonna help you. I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna get through this together and then we return your calls and so it's just like i i feel very alone in this industry um well no well pff, i i don't feel alone like amongst actors because this is just again part of the process and i just feel like there i don't know i just feel like i need to be doing more I mean, I'm already auditioning, I'm already taking classes, I'm, I'm working, but I need, I feel like I need to be doing more. I want to do skits, and I keep saying that I'm going to do skits on this channel, but I feel so overwhelmed. I feel very insanely overwhelmed because the thing that I hear often is, oh my god, you're so funny, you should write your own show. That's what you should do, you should just write your own show and get it on HBO like Issa did. And I don't know if, like, the general public realizes that that's, I mean, that's not 
like an easy thing to do there would be like 9,000 TV shows if it was that easy there would be like a billion TV shows with people and their bad ideas I mean I'm flattered that's a nice compliment but it's like going to a job interview and them telling you oh my god you should start your own company you have really great ideas. You you don't want you don't want to work here. You don't want our money. You want to build your own company. You should be the CFO of your own company, which is ideal. But focus on me. Um, it's ideal, but shit, that. I mean, like, I I just I don't know. I just think that's so mean to say to somebody who's looking for a job, like actively looking for a job. You should just start your own company. Don't come here. I won't even hire you. You know what? I'm not even gonna take a second guess at you. You should leave. Start your own job. That's how I feel. I had an audition with this agent, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad they didn't sign me because. I mean, it's not that I'm desperate for an agent. Now's the time to get representation. I just. I'm so sick of people just like gassing me up and be like, oh my God, you're so fucking hilarious, girl. You are funny. <laughs> and yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. One agent told me, um, I went to this agent workshop and there was 10 agents in the room. All 10 of them said they loved me. Um, one agent said she was gonna call me in. Another agent sat me down and she was like, listen, you are so talented. Uh, she helped me with my monologue and she was like, do this next time, maybe try this. And she flipped over my resume and she was like, oh, mm, I see you need someone to give you a chance, but it's not going to be me. And I was just like, shit. And I just smiled and I was like, okay. And she's like, tell me about yourself. I mean, there's always hope, there's promise. I feel like shit. I do. I feel like shit. Um, and I kind of want to cry. But in the same sense, I know that next week I could book a job. But also, I know that next week I'm going to be broke as fuck. I can't think of doing anything else though. I've invested so much time and money and myself and my parents my dad my sisters like me being here is literally a family affair I had a commercial audition for a commercial agent a couple months ago and he was like you know I was like okay yeah, yeah you're funny you're funny I like you I like you and I was like thank you so much and he was like, well, let me, let's see what's coming down the line or coming down the pipeline in a couple of weeks. And, you know, so I'll see if, you know, there's anything I could push you for. And I was like, okay, great. And then I think I get the same, I'm pretty sure we get the same breakdowns unless there's like some magical breakdown. Um, and I'm like looking at all these breakdowns and I'm submitting myself for all these breakdowns. And then he sends me an email and he's like, hey, it was really nice meeting you, but there's nothing I could submit you for this week, so I'm going to pass. So what do you do? I have to, like, write my own TV show? Like, I mean, there's all this stuff that, like, I feel like I have to do. And I feel alone in it, so I feel very discouraged. My hair feels great though, it's nice and moisturized. If I just reach out and ask for help, maybe people will help me, but I'm a bad judge of character. I'm such a bad judge of character, and I think that's why I'm single, because I'd rather be a bad judge of character than stuck in a relationship that I can't get out of. Um, anyways, this kind of went left field. What I want to say is, <sighs> I'm fine, everything's fine. There's nothing wrong. No, really, I'm fine. It's just that maybe I need a hug. I don't know, maybe I just need a hug. And I feel so lost in my acting classes. And I just feel like, I feel lost in the sense that I have all of this, like, I have all of this training. And I feel like it's all just kind of stagnant. You know, and there's really just, like, nothing exciting. It's just, I've been going through emotions for so long. And now I'm just ready to apply myself to something other than, than taking acting classes and reading and
And the other day in one of my acting classes, I totally, I just wasn't feeling it. And that's okay. It's totally cool. It happens. But I feel like I should be better than that. I need to be better than that. And I feel like every little mistake, everybody has little mistakes. But I feel like for myself, they are judged differently. And it's not judged in a way of like, oh, okay, I can see, I can work with you. I can work with that. It's judged more so like, you seriously think you can be here? You know, you seriously think you can compete with me? That's how I feel, that's how I feel. And I know it's just, it's probably like, it's. I know it's just me. What I will say to people who want to pursue a job in the arts is that there's gonna be several times that you have moments like this and you don't really know like what the fuck to think or what the fuck to do and say so you might quit but don't quit don't quit don't quit at all because one day one day I'm gonna look back at this video and be like oh, 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 oh. for my private jet I mean does it happen right away for everybody I mean I started this like 20 years ago 20 years I've been taking acting classes for 20 years <laughs> I just Anyway, I just needed to talk to myself. And it gives me hope for the future. But it also, like, I mean, I have a plan. I have a plan. And the only thing I have to do now is execute that plan. Part of that plan is get rid of my auntie wave. Hi, baby. Hi. Anyways, if you enjoyed this little then hit the like button hit the subscribe button most importantly and i will catch you guys 